another wonderful day here on Go Battle League. So hello trainers, welcome to another video with some really nice battles submitted by the one and only Coast Pen 23. So this trainer is an amazing individual here from Greece. You have seen lately a lot of his battles on this channel and he never disappoints. Also Ghost Pen is an amazing member of my channel, so if you want to join, feel free to do so. You can check right below this video the join option so that you can join as a member for my channel. So here, what do we got? We got a Frostlash, which is just gonna do tremendous amount of work against the meta. We got a very bad lead against his Registeel, so let's see how we can go ahead, because this team is gonna obviously struggle a lot against Regi, but still we might have a wincon on the long term of the battle. We can take advantage of those powder snows and how easy it is for the Frostlass to deal an amazing amount of damage with its moves. So now they come in with the Verizion and guess what? We got the Avalanche ready to go which is gonna take their final shield out of play. We cannot reach to an extra one which is a bummer but still we can go in with the Trevenant resisting pretty much anything they can throw other than the Stone Edge. At the back they got the Charizard they bring it in and that is a mistake trainer because we got the Tapu Fin and cost pen is gonna go to town here especially after that leaf blade okay so no stone age i guess from this region and this match is already settled since now we can go in with the trevenant to reach to a freaking shadow ball and wreck them apart so this move is gonna be a stone edge okay so no sacred sword i get it i get it uh gone over farm no reason i guess just for flex points and yeah this is gonna connect for lethal damage and cost pen is gonna take this amazing victory tapu fini in to Dragonite, you love to see it, pretty solid lead after that very bad lead that we had before with the Red Steel. So now we can keep pressuring with our Moonblast. Moonblast might connect here for big damage, so let's see what the opponent decides to do. I think they're gonna let it go. They still have a lot of HP. No, they're absolutely gonna go for the shield. So now that gives us a lot of time to go in with our Trevenant and do an amazing amount of work against them. They reveal their second move, which is gonna be the Ice Beam. Uh, I don't know if that was intended, but that was a bad move by them. Uh, they could always go for that uh, uh, Sad Ball, to be honest. But anyway, Seed Bomb here is gonna connect. Down goes that Jellicent and both of them shields. So now we can definitely reach to the Sad Ball, so they have to pressure are we gonna spend the shield here no we're just gonna let that go down goes our trevenant but now we can go in with the ice type and start farming down all that solid energy for the end game at the back there is gonna be a cobalion i believe so at this point shadow ball is gonna connect and all we need is just another one i think we have to block here because this can always be something like a stone edge of course we're gonna block it amazing block here gone over farm as well i think we do not need the over farm, uh, the over farm at all but but still the shadow ball is gonna connect down goes that cobalion and at this point this dragon claw will take us out super power okay uh, that was a bad move by the enemy anyways uh, now we're just gonna farm down and that's gonna be an amazing victory for cost pen uh, locking down the enemy into the next one now with a trevenant upon the lead we have to switch out and obviously we have to bring our frostless into play so i thought that trevenant could have been the better choice as a safe switch but now i'm seeing those battles well it makes sense that Frostlass is just gonna do more work against the meta so you can use it as your safe switch as well if you have a Frostlass of course because this Pokemon needs a lot of excels to power it up to a point that it can participate in the Ultra League effectively uh, so now the Surf is gonna take their final shield out of play and I think we might let that go through no it is gonna be the Brave Bird big block here by cost pend able to farm down the process and now Trevenant returns into the battle good news here is that we can still survive and we can reach to the Moonblast. Sad news is that we are just gonna lose this battle so we're getting out of here. We got the Trevenant, they got the Swambert. Finally some good news and we're just gonna obliterate this matchup with our Trevenant. Hydro Cannon gonna connect but I think we are already there on the double move. So one for the Swambert, one for the Trevenant and that is gonna be a fantastic charging up for uh, Cost Pen to secure this victory. 
into the next one now against what was that hubba 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 something like this and we're having another bad lead this time against Calvantula are you kidding me and we are met up with a very bad switch they got the Regis so we have to pressure now with those shadow balls they're gonna take the first one which makes a lot of sense and now if they have flash cannon well the match is over but they end up having zap cannon which means that we might be able to, th to threat a shield or just make them use all their energy here able to get the shadow ball they got one more move ready to go and we're just gonna take the next one but it makes a lot of sense that we are gonna go in now with the Tapu Fini and try to completely farm down. Reggie is, ob oh, is obviously a very bad one for this team and we just need to farm now gonna go in with our Trevenant and they got the Galvantula so those lances are still gonna hurt and they still got one Pokemon at the back. Here comes the Talon Flame. we have to go for those baits now because obviously they are gonna block it and yeah not gonna uh, charge anything I think that if they let that go through well cost pen could leave the match here but it doesn't matter because now we can still pressure for the shadow ball are they gonna expect it though boom a big boom on the tunnel flame all of a sudden we got a win con here gonna grab them shield and now we can pressure for that surf damage against the tunnel flame the match is not over yet, they still got the Galvantula, can we do it trainers? No we cannot, Galvantula is just gonna emerge victorious here, that was a pretty, not close, but pretty risky battle for Cost Pen. and to be honest we got hard counter on every single individual matchup, we still had the win con, but not gonna reach that win con for sure, anyways into the next one, that previous one was a pretty GG for both trainers, and now we're having a Cobalion against our Trevenant, Trevenant is gonna do a lot of work against fighters and it makes no wonder as to why it can also do a lot of work against Cobalion, able to tank that stone edge, but the second is just gonna be uh, the fatal one, so we just have to throw some energy and another shadow ball for the Giratina. Uh, Giratina, a shiny one, that's a pretty nice flex. I think we're gonna let that go through and then farm down with Tapu Fini. Let's see. Yeah, Dragon Claw and now Tapu Fini, I guess. Yeah, so at the back there is gonna be the Virision and we have the upper hand right now. We're just gonna block the move because this can be always a stone edge and it is. So yeah, they're gonna back out because we got a lot of energy and they know what's coming. They're afraid of the boom. It makes a lot of sense. Cure him in the next one. I think this is kind of weird because uh, after those debuffs, we might be in a bad position uh, while we can also uh, go ahead and take those Drango Breaths with ease while they also resist our moves while Moonblast can do a lot of work. Yeah, this is kind of a weird matchup. Anyways, now I'm gonna go in with our Frostlass and I believe we got to block at least once. Yeah, here comes the Glaciate and now the Avalanche will connect I think for big damage. Look at that QRM is out of the way and oh my freaking goodness they just survived on that final turn with another debuff. Let's get now to our Avalanche. I think they do not have a clear answer to our Pokemon, it seems like it. Uh, they are gonna answer back with a Charizard, which is always good news for us, because now we can go with more Avalanches, they are gonna block it. At the back there is gonna be the Venusaur, and now Trevenant might have just the upper hand. Uh, we also got a Tapu Fini for that Charizard and with that sealed up I am not that worried that we are gonna uh, not lose so yeah the win is coming up so we're just gonna take this move I think farming down with our uh, Tapu Fini is gonna be a solid choice here down goes the Venu and of course now that Charizard has nothing to throw at us especially with that sealed up and the Surf will wrap this battle for us into the next one now, cost pen against Norman, and we're having the Jellies end up on the lead, that's a pretty tough one, because the only move that we can throw is gonna be the Moonblast, are they gonna expect it though, or are they gonna uh, undermine it, let's see, so Shadow Ball is gonna be blocked, pretty cool block here to start off this battle, and now Moonblast is gonna be blocked as well, okay, so we're exchanging blocks for some reason, and we're just gonna keep going with that Moonblast, I think we might let that go through, no, double block from uh, cost pen pretty early here and we can still pressure for the Moonblast once again. The opponent decides to go ahead and use their block so I think that's gonna be a sad ball obliterating apart our Trevenant but we can still survive that was surprisingly good and now we have baited out of there that uh, Scrafty so can we still win this one? This is looking pretty scary. If they have double dark I don't think so because double ghost double dark you know what's happening. Tapu Fini now going in and 
I think we might be able to farm down here. So let's see the foul play. Oh, uh, it's still getting pretty close. I think we might be able to reach to the surf here. Yeah, we need to spend some energy. Down goes now the Scrafty. That final uh, uh, foul play could have been the uh, ultimate move for our Pokemon. So we did not want that at all. Shadowball now from their uh, from the Jetson. And now we just need to reach the Avalanche. But they end up catching with their final Pokemon, which is a Nito Queen. And that all of a sudden is a good news for us. And we can can somehow farm down here, I believe. We can still survive the Earth Power. Yes, we can. Can you imagine having a Stone Edge? That would have been bad. And now reach the Shadow Ball. Uh, the closer of our team, the Frost Lash, returns into the battle to finish them off. And that is going to be an amazing battle. Uh, so another Trevenant upon the lead, too many Trevenants, but this team seems like it can carry the work. So we're just gonna go now, this time with a safe switch on the face of Frostlass. Sometimes it is a Trevenant, sometimes a Frostlass. I guess it takes a lot of practice to master this team. At least that's the comment that Ghost Pen told me. And now we're gonna go with the Avalanche against a Talonflame. Gonna grab them sealed and now we're gonna get from down. Doesn't matter at all because we can still return to the battle with a tap of Eden. And knowing that they have a Trevenant of their own, well perhaps we do not need Tapu Fini for this battle, they come in with a Tokyagis, okay, so what they were expecting are uh, switch out uh, strategy tactic, so at this point we're just gonna block this Aerial Ace and we're gonna keep pressuring here with our Shadow Ball, uh, one was gonna take the Shield and one more on the Trevenant, perhaps they were expecting it much earlier, that was Kinda weird and kinda bad, so at this point we can go in with the Tapu Fini and let's see, this is gonna be a race, but will this surf be enough to finish off? Of course it is, down goes Tokyo Geese, and that's gonna be an amazing battle for Cost Pent, are you kidding me? I think the opponent threw this battle pretty hard here. Anyways, gonna go now with that uh, Drift Blim up against us, okay, it's been a long time since I have seen a Drift Blim in Go Battle League in total, and they're gonna debuff us, so really good call not blocking by cost pent and we have now the avalanche so they are gonna block we are gonna block i guess here yeah it's gonna be the shadow ball and they have now that uh, obstagoon so obstagoon is a pretty scary pokemon for our uh, double ghost and i'm pretty glad that we are seeing it up against our frostless because uh we can still pressure a lot here and they cannot farm down so night slash no boost on their end for some reason every single obstagoon that i have on the ultra premier of course battles of mine is getting a boost so that is pretty scary but still now we're gonna pressure here for that cmp no boost once again and i think we can safely farm down at this point resisting pretty much anything they can throw other than the gang shot but uh, hopefully they do not have that move and i think now they have the charmer it is gonna be the nine tails trevenant goes in and now we can stand victorious up against them this is gonna be a charm version of nine tails which means that uh, we are just gonna take less damage than usual and of course now uh, we're just gonna pressure with the shadow ball to finish them off and one more move for that drift blim unfortunately though we cannot reach to the shadow ball so we're there they end up farming up a lot of energy and now we can go in with the tapu fini but because of the shield and pretty sure we can finish the move right on time they come in with the obstagoon that was a pretty smart play i forgot all about obstagoon so now we can still pressure and hopefully we can outspeed yes we can serve for big damage at this point anything it's big damage at this uh, red level hp uh, Drift Blim, so we're gonna take this amazing victory. Uh, Cresselia in the next one, gonna switch out to the Frostlass, so yeah, Frostlass is not always the closer for this line, and we're gonna keep the Trevenant for the Cresselia check. At the back, they also have a Swambert, so they were kinda weird against the Trevenant upon the lead. Can they be triple weak to a Trevenant? That's gonna be interesting. Anyways, gonna be able to take one Hydro Cannon, this is Ultra League after all, we can survive pretty much anything on the first hit, and at this point, we're just gonna block the second because we are already there on the avalanche and we can pressure for those two shields down goes though the swamper they let that go through which means that they have to spend some energy if they want to be successful here and we're gonna let that go through because we got another hard check for that uh, 
Cresselia, this point Revenant goes in, we're just gonna let that move go through, it is gonna be just a grass, not uh, poor energy uh, throw here by the enemy, and we got the Shadow Ball against that uh, Venusaur, and of course, we might be kinda problematic for the end game because we still have Tapu Fini, and they have a very good team against Tapu with uh, their uh, Cresselia, and of course, the Venusaur. They are shielding our next move, but we already are there to the next seed bomb. Not gonna be enough, but we are gonna make a pretty nice catch on the top of Vini, protecting the Trevenant for the end game. The match is still not over, but I think we have the upper hand here because they're kind of forced in throwing. Now they are energy dry, and of course, Trevenant will go in to uh, settle things right. I think this is gonna be a grass note, right? Yeah, that was pretty early to be anything else. So that's so, trainers, thank you for watching, thank you for staying till the end, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, and if you want to become a member and support me even more like Costpen has done, uh, well, you can always check that join button below this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you all into the next one, take care trainers!